Hi everyone. Uh, in this short video, I'm just going to show you the, the main calculations we've seen in module two and how they all fit together. I've got an equation there on the screen and the first skill obviously is being able to balance an equation. Second, they might give you reactants or products as a mass and you need to work out how many moles you've got because we always work in moles when we're doing equations and reactions. So if they give you a mass, what do we do? Number of moles is mass over molar mass. There's the first calculation. And to do that, you need to be able to work out the molar mass of a substance. So there's another calculation you need. So reactions also involve solutions. And so you may know an amount of solution, a volume and a concentration, for example. And you need to work out how many moles of that solution we've got, because that's what we work with in the, the reaction, the equation. So how do we work it out? We know concentration is N on V, that's given to you on the data sheet. So the number of moles is CV, concentration times volume, easy. The reaction could also involve gases. So how do we find out number of moles if a gas is involved? We use either the volume of one mole of an ideal gas, like at 25 degrees Celsius, 24.79 litres, or at zero degrees, so you can use that, or you use PV equals NRT. And so they're the main uh, calculations we will need to do. Working out if you have a certain mass, or a concentration and volume, or a volume of a gas, how many moles have I got? And going the other way as well. Three other calculations we've come across that are important. Percentage composition, like if I said magnesium chloride, what percentage magnesium is it? You need to be able to work out the total molar mass, the molar mass of the magnesium, and work it out as a percentage. Empirical, com uh, empirical formula, when we do an experiment and we measure the percentage, for example, magnesium and chlorine in a compound, we need to be able to work backwards to find the formula, the empirical formula. And lastly, dilutions of solutions. Uh, and that's simple. We know the number of moles before is the same as the number of moles after. And when you use C equals N on V, you plug that in, you end up with C1V1 equals C2V2. So you need to be able to use that to, to use dilutions, avoiding all the tricks that there are there. And that's pretty much all the calculations we need to, to know for module two. We don't use the gas ones a lot, but mass and solutions and dilution, we will use a lot and you need to get very used to them and you need to do the laying out properly. You need to use the right units and you need to include units in your final answer. All of that is really important. And we'll work on significant figures later as well.